Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to another episode of Game for Life Plays and in this episode, if you don't know what this is already, this is Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have a quick couple of games on this, show you what, you know, everyone knows what Call of Duty is about, you know, I'm not going to bore people with it all, uh, but I'm not going to do any of the campaign in this because hopefully I will do a Let's Play very soon on the channel, so... I will play a couple of games, uh, explain more about say what Clan vs Clan is all about and stuff. So uh, going into the multiplayer, I'll just uh, bring up, you get Clan vs Clan. Um, there's a thing called squads where you can make your own squad up of different players. They've, they've changed a lot to do with the prestige and systems and more. It's a lot different from the last COD. Uh, you've got your typical hardcore modes, but really, they haven't really got many game modes for that, and standard. <coughs> Obviously, you get loads of cool ones, like there's Search and Rescue, Blitz, Crank, there's some awesome, awesome game modes, I think. So, in all fairness, I think we should play Ghost Mosh Pit, why not? So, let's get into the first game. I am sorry, my throat is very ticklish. Right, Three Fall is a special map that came with anyone that pre-ordered Ghost. So, if you haven't pre-ordered it, I know certain people don't have this map already, but I think it may be coming out in the future separately. Right. Domination, Domination indeed. Capture the now, straight off the bat, in my mind, it looks good. When I first start playing this game it looked absolutely awesome it feels good like any cod would damn it just turn my head sit down a little bit I think the kill cams look great they still got the same obviously it's cod so it will have the similar cod feel and all that I do agree there's some new weapons it's got a very Black Ops 1 feel to unlocking the games where you have to pay points instead of just unlocking guns per level and equipping them. Oh, die! Always happens when I'm recording a video like I always do absolutely worse than I should do. There we go. Cool additions also to the game is the ability to, if you do kill the top two players in a team. Uh, thank you. Jesus. Um, you get extra points. Satcoms are pretty cool, like UAVs. There's just so much. It's very different, but it's COD. I know there's been a lot of hate for COD. Um, I will be honest with you, I'm not massively impressed because I've had some massive issues with this game. Um, hacked lobbies, for instance, and I, I were in a game where um, within literally one kill I prestiged. And it was like, what? You, you've hacked the lobby to prestige? Yeah, it's just, it really put it down on. The game's good. I do, I do enjoy it, but there's a few tweaks that they really do need to sort out. Like the spawns in this game are stupidly shocking. It's like they always seem to be behind you and whatnot, it's weird. But I'm doing absolutely poor in this game. Yeah boy. But it, it, it just feels It feels better. I didn't like Modern Warfare 3 and this fucking hell. But this one doesn't feel like Modern Warfare 3 to me, which is a good thing because I really could not stand Modern Warfare 3 and I'm enjoying this a bit more. In all fairness, I would. Where the fuck? I did not see that guy. The thing is, some of these guys. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Some. Where did he come from? Seriously, they just. This game's a bit broken, I must admit, still. It's COD. You get backstabbers and shit all the time. How am I dying all this time? I need to change my load out. Honey Badger. What, what weapon this Honey Badger is? There's some awesome, awesome weapons in this game, I must admit that. 
Only budget is pretty damn cool. Securing A. Losing Charlie. Come on, come on, come on. Someone come up to me and help me out. Thank you. Enemy has Z. Enemy Odin. Dual wielding mofo. He should have died then. Losing Alpha. Great. Yes, I will totally agree with people if they turn around and say, oh, card, this card, it's crap, and everything like that. I do agree that it's not everyone's cup of tea because they do milk this genre and they don't need to do a game every year. I'd, I'd be more than happy to clean Black Ops 2 for another year. And to be honest with you, I still will be playing Black Ops 2 for a long time. Because I actually really do enjoy it. But I know there's a lot of COD fans out there that really enjoy COD. And also in this bastard, in this COD, there is also, instead of zombies, they've put something out called Extinction where it's alien, which is different. I've not really had a massive go at it yet. And there's an also another cool concept called Safeguard, which is like waves. It's kind of like Gears of War Horde, where you stand waves of uh, of enemies in, with like a team of yours. And um, I'm trying to concentrate. And um, after so many rounds, you get to upgrade your um, shit. Upgrades your defences and stuff like sentry guns and whatnot. This is a pretty cool, some pretty cool game modes. I hit him. Oh. One thing with this, I don't think they've really got these guns down to a T yet. There we go. But in my mind, this does feel very much like they tried making a. I don't know. A more battlefield feeling kind of card. Still small maps, but they're a lot bigger than than most. Uh, but no vehicles to use. But it does feel like you've got to be a bit more tactical how you play. So this is my opinion. People can say you don't know shit, Dave, whatever. But I've played plenty of FPSs in my time. So now, what's what? Friendly sat, there we go, okay, these coming a bit more friendly now instead of being dick bag. Now one thing I do like about this is they've kept the support streaks instead of um, just all shit. Just all um, kill streaks. Because if you can't string together a kill streak, it's a bit harsh, but the support streaks are more not as hard hitting. Oh, damn it. Still helpful though, like with the um, Odin and stuff, which is pretty cool. Fucking hell, I thought I had it then. This is probably one of the first time I've used this, so I'm gonna give it a go. Losing Bravo! Helo Scout on the way. We lost B. Enemy has Bravo. That's a bit harsh, this one. How am I supposed to do this? This is pretty cool where you can actually get a sniper rifle and shit. Enemy controlled Oracle, watch your six. Losing Come on! Him. I'm failing epically. Where is everybody? We just to shoot at. Ah, oh, god damn it. Always happens when I'm on YouTube. I fail epically at everything. It just shows that I'm not an amazing player. I ain't an amazing player. I will not brag saying that I'm fucking God's gift. Pardon the French. But I hate people who think they're like the most best cosplay in the world. 
because all it means is you're sad enough to actually sit in front of a game and play the game ridiculous amounts of times be so freaking cool and show off to your mates, you know what I mean? I ain't bothered. Call me and it'll blow you on. You know I, mean? I, I play a game to enjoy it. I play a game to have fun with my friends. So it's your choice, it doesn't matter. There you go. That is domination on freefall. We'll play another game. Hopefully not domination. Because go smosh pit, the, it tries to change it. I want mine some like cramps on blitz to show you, which is pretty cool. 17 for 21, not so bad. I didn't die as much as everybody else, really, but I could do better. And all that lot. What I'll do is after this second game, I'll quickly flip through some of the bits and bobs as well. Yeah, cranked will do. I'll play cranked on 3 4, why not? But yeah, um, in like Creative Soldier, you get your usual loadout systems, perks, there's a lot more in perks you can do. Let's have a look, let's go into here. Perks, you get like so many you can choose from, so you can unselect these and unlock other ones with your squad points, that's in the top corner. Same with your care packages, like say support, you can purchase any of these, which is really cool. Juggernauts, Oracles, and stuff. Specialist, it's to do with more with your perks, so. And then each prestige, you once you reach a level 60 on the soldier, you can't level up anymore. But there's 10 soldiers you can use that you can make male, female, so much more. But I'll have a look at that in a minute before we wrap up the video. We're going to play a bit of Cranked, which is kind of like Team Deathmatch. But every time you kill, you get faster and you get... It's, it's, I'll show you, I'll explain it to you as we go along. Let's try a, a different weapon. M Tarex. Oh, here we go. Time to work, soldiers. So yeah, this is cranked, same map. But basically we cranked. Oh, fucking hell, I thought I had him then. Come on, that's got to be a kill. How many hit markers did I get on that one guy? Shocking. I haven't used this weapon properly at those. You know what? I'm going to have to go chase Nana. Fuck. You know what? I'm chasing loads out. It's something. Right. Yeah, that's I'm trying to explain what crank is to everybody. There we go. Oh, fucking. It was nicking the kill. Right, crank. There you go, you become a little bit faster, you run around a bit more, and you, you've got 30 seconds to keep killing and keep topping up your kill. It makes it a bit more of an incentive, which is, in my mind, it's pretty cool. You get some really good XP out of this. But right, there you go, I'm faster again. But you've got 30 seconds to keep killing. We're in the, lead. the more crank kills, the more go up. But then when you get more crank players on the opposite We're team, the it's lead. actually harder to kill them again. It evens out. The odds. Yeah, shut up. Come on, I had freaking penetrating bullets, then that should have gone in and killed it. See, that's why I'm still not 100% of this game, because the stuff you'd expect, like from Black Ops and everything, where it was a lot more easier to do. I don't know. In all fairness, I think Black Ops is more of an arcade shooter compared to this. It seems more tactical, but fucking broken. And I'm out of ammunition, ain't I? Lost it, so. God damn it. Four for four. Oh, no. Drop a satcom. See what's going around here. There's some pretty cool sweet spots in these maps, though. I must admit, there's a lot more room to. You know, have a couple of sniping spots and... Oh, fucking hell. I swear the spawn system shit on this. There's a guy down there, isn't there? Oh, fucking hell. I will admit there's a lot of camping on this game. Bad spawns and camping. Burden of the freaking Call of Duty scene at the moment. <laughs> Can't seem to get anywhere with this one. Enemy care package incoming. 
Come on. Cranked. Fucking cranked. Ammo crate ready. Ammo crate. Ah, now, this is one thing I like ammo crates. Swap your secondary. For something like oh, that's sick. Reloading. But the thing is, it only lasts for while you're alive. It's new weapon. Can you spawn back with what weapon you've got? Okay. Damn it! They just... See, I got hit back. That should have been a sick kill, that. Come oh, on! No, no, no. This is Call of Duty, you know what I mean? We were defeated. This can't again. Fucking poo. <laughs> Pardon my French people, but poo. Yeah! And there's some like really cool perks, you know, the dragon fly fires or even the call one from Black Ops 2 in it. And there's so much more, there's there's quite a lot going on in it, but it really needs to still grow on me because some of the maps can be a bit dodgy, it spawns are knackered, hacked lobbies. But it is Call of Duty, it is different. Let's just go over a few quick things. It's like create a soldier. Now, these are all your soldiers that you can unlock with um, squad points. It tells you in the corner there, squad points, top. Right hand corner is how many you've got. I've got quite a few because you've got to complete tasks and stuff like 100 headshots, 100 kills with certain weapons and whatnot. You can name what you want. So I've named the first one David, but that was the one that got hacked and prestige too freaking quickly. Um, there's Killer. I named him Killer. But you can have females and so on. Let's, let's, let's just unlock one for you. Right. You can pick like a. You know what you think it'd be so like say c2b just drop that as a normal layout uh customize your character you can change genders male female you will lot heads as you get on so you can have different skin types you know there's, there's a lot there is a lot of customization but as you can see it's like uh point guard fly swatter um Call in 300 assault satcoms. You get what I mean. There's so much that you can do uh, with your skins and stuff. It's it's interesting. It's really cool. So I, I definitely definitely like how they've done this for the prestige. Because once you've like maxed out level 60, you move on to your next one. So I've unlocked one now, but I'm not going to use it until I've leveled this one. Up. But you can unlock as many as you want and just level up as you want because with squads, you you've got to do stuff like this. And there you go. You, you do all your stuff for your, for your um, operations and you can like get new operations, cost one point, let's, there you go. You, you change them, you know what I mean, it's, it's different. Barracks, you get your clans, clan invites, I'm a part of the clan at the moment. Um, we're working on getting it out and about a bit more, so keep your eyes out on it. Uh, it's the usual thing like, you know, your levels. And stuff, and I don't know why I've been up twice. Oh, it's the same level. Um, ranked high out of everyone in my friends list for Blitz. I like Blitz to be honest with you. I'm halfway for that. It's, what's my usual one? Domination. Yeah, I thought I'd be up there with Domination. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And they've brought back Infected as well for all you that love Infected and new game types. Uh, let's just have a quick look through some of these game types before we go, just to let you know what's going on. If you haven't already played this yet, Cranked, we've just played. You've got a, you get extra scoring and 30 seconds to live. Chain kill, stay alive. Blitz, it's kind of like American football. You've got to get into the end zone. The little there's like a little zone, and once you pass it, you spawn back at your opposite zone, and it's a point per go. Search and rescue. Now, this is different compared to search and destroy. Search and rescue is like search and destroy, but you. There's dog tags involved, and if you die, your dog tags stay there. If your guy on your team picks up your dog tags, you respawn. If the guy who kills you or the enemy team pick up your dog tags, you will not spawn. So it's destroy, obviously. You know, infected. One starts as the infected, and with the last man standing, kill confirmed. Self explanatory. Donation self explanatory. Hunted. Now, I've not played this one yet. I'm actually quite interested in giving this a go sometime soon. Um, you start with limited equipment, and I think it is like drop zone because it says here take control of drop zones to get better equipment. I think it is like drop zone from Modern Warfare 3, but after have a go, free for all team tactical and ghost mosh pit. But it features 
the free for all map. So there is a lot there. And um, let's have a look, see if I can quickly go. Squads, right now, squads, 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 squads. Now, in squads, it tells you here, you can um, get a team of your friends, one to six a year, and you take on an AI squad. Depends if it's, you know, somebody else's squad that can be offline, they could be at work or a different part of the country, but that you can face off against a computer generated squad from another team who play their style, it's really cool how they're trying to involve it all. Squad versus squad, this is going to be really um, like 1v1, but the rest of your team are AI. Uh, you can also do your clan versus clan matches, which I know a lot of them will be doing for like the eSports, like MLG. Safeguard, um, this is like your Gears of War horde mode, where you've got to go through so many odds, and there's levels and there's the infinite version where you just keep going until you die. Um, wall game. I've not used this one yet. Refine your skills to train with your squad against teams of bots. It's just like bot games and stuff. Kind of like um, training game in uh, Black Ops 2. And so on. And that's really about it. Apart from like Extinction, this is like zombies. But like I said, it's more... How can I put it? Aliens and stuff like that. What I'll do is, I'll probably do an Extinction video. To drop into game for life channel soon but i won't do it in this video because now we're coming up to the time i want to clock off so let's go back to the main menu but yeah um now with game for life play i try and give it all a rating and stuff and all that lot <laughs> this one's difficult because the thing is i'm a first person shooter guy i like a bit of everything but I really do enjoy first person shooters. I'm not the best. I never have been. And I'll never blag about it. I don't care. You know what I mean? But I've been going through the COD series basically since uh, Modern Warfare 2. And I really got disappointed with Modern Warfare 3. And I really went more over to the Treyarch side of things with Black Ops. But Ghosts, when they came out of the whole. Oh, new movement like the leaning techniques, which I didn't show you there, but there's a couple of cool techniques like leaning and sliding and stuff. I like what they're trying to do. They're trying to get it away from the same old Modern Warfare series. A lot of people are moaning saying, just call it Modern Warfare 4. No, it's the story's totally different, which I'll be doing a Let's Play on soon. It feels like a mashup between the best bits of Modern Warfare and Black Ops with the whole customization where you know what I mean you can purchase the ones you want you can go for your favorite gun straight away near enough once you get the points instead of waiting to level 50 for an AK-47 or whatever I like that I think this is good in that way but since launch <laughs> and the hacking and stuff it's just been riddled with problems and lag and issues and stuff like that and at this, at this moment in time I'll still give it quite a reasonable score of 7 out of 10 because I like what they're doing with it but if it wasn't for all these little problems with spawns and whatnot, and all, and all that I'd, it would probably be 8, 9 out of 10 you know what I mean? because Black Ops 2 I'd, in all fairness if I had both Ghosts and Black Ops 2 sat in front of me I'd pick Black Ops 2 over and over again because I enjoy it more but this is still a good game and I would still recommend it and obviously I'll be playing a lot more of this and I'm getting used to it so um, oh another thing I want to touch on quickly before I go uh, I didn't mention it in the, in the uh, two games because it never happened they've also implemented like dynamic changes to maps especially with these things called chem strikes where when the chemstrike comes down the map changes it kind of like blows everything up and it like kind of you know changes some of the routes and stuff kind of like what battlefield have been doing for a while <laughs> but claude you have all just done it but that's a good addition to the game as well but expect to see loads more call of duty ghost stuff coming in the future on the game of life channel because i'll be doing some extinction probably some safeguard and so much more so i'll keep you guys peeled for that i'll also probably do a couple more um Black Ops 2 gameplays. But we shall see. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for so much more. Thank you, and I will see you in the next episode of Game for Life Plays. See you later, people, and have a very good day.